<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Sorry. I'll be coughing this whole thing. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Solomon Mike back again. The first time, Connor messed up. The second time, y'all messed up. Your questions were absolutely whack. So we're back again with another Q&A. We got Bon Shro, Bro Shro, Abani Schroeder in the house, Strong Chick, Smart Chick. We're gonna answer some of your questions from the grams. Let's dig in, my friends. Some of these questions, guys. Did you make, did you Mike, uh, did you make Mike do this? He looks scared. No, he asked to pose like Now, that. come on. Yeah, you're like, Bonnie, let's take a picture Look, just cause there's like dinner. Just because there's a camera on doesn't mean you got a line now. Mm, okay. What'd you say? I said, Mike, let's take a prom pose. Okay, you. thank you. And I said? Because we are that adorable. And what'd I say? And you said, yes, please. Small spoon. <laughs> I said, small spoon. Yeah, of course. Uh, an anonymous <clears throat> person said, I have been told that she's 6'2", 220 plus in person based on attitude. Is this confirmed? If she's 6'2", 220, I'm God, goddamn 7 foot, 310, 8% body fat, if that's the case. Yeah. Well, it's not a lie. It's just like a, it's a pretty hard weight cut for me. So it's not something I would recommend for everyone. How do you get so big? How do you get so big? <laughs> um, the yeah. out angle master. What are you guys' questions don't even make sense, all right, dude? Who? He said I out angled you. Yeah, he course. said out ang angled the angled master, but like I don't take angles. Oh. But I don't take angles. Are you sure? Yeah, go through my pictures. That's okay. like something I like. I like. I like. I just don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't care how I look like that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. You, I look like a frumpy mess in this picture. <laughs> Who has the bigger peach? The bigger peach. Yeah. I gotta say, Mike wins that one. I I think if you're going by overall size, clearly. Yeah. If you're going by like ratio to everything else, it might it's a tie maybe. That, that might be close. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, why is my babe so beautiful? I'll Ooh. take that as, <laughs> you know, like, I, I don't know. Uh, you got some fans, Mike. I, mean, I don't know. I've never been called a babe before or your no. babe. I don't know who you are, but thank you. You know? <laughs> let's, get some, let's get some actual How often? Look, I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. How often do you bench in the span of a week and what workouts do you recommend to build your bench? The ba <clears throat> Bonds here. Bonds Shro is going to bench 200 pounds real soon at 120, weighing 125. So... Dig in. Uh, I bench right now, I bench kind of a lot. Uh, normally I bench three times a week. Right now I'm benching four, possibly five times a week. Um, and I like a lot of bench variations. So I'll have one day that's like higher uh, volume. I'll have a higher intensity day, a speed day. And then one day that's like just a bunch of variations. So extra long pauses, maybe board presses, um, you know, one and a quarters. <laughs> One and a quarter. Uh, Spoto presses. Just I like all sorts of variations. The more I do, uh, the faster I progress. Really. Um, and how does that progress through like an off season or a meet? Um, you know, it depends on the off season. I like to do um, a shit ton of volume, and and no one no one likes to hear that or likes to do that, but that's what works. That's yeah, what's yeah. really built it up for me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, especially ladies yeah. can handle a lot of stuff. Tens, twelves, all that. Yeah. Uh, combined total. Oh god. I don't know mine in kilos. <clears throat> I think my best full power is sixteen oh two. Uh my best full power is eight eight something. I need to math really. Sixteen oh two and eight, that's twenty four or something. Twenty four something. Probably probably very close to the all time world record. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Together. Combined. Probably our, our powers combined. Probably close to it. Um, yeah, so I wanted a not, so I would be right at around 870. Yeah, around we're probably all we're, this you're looking at all time world records right here. <laughs> uh, biggest setback you've had, whether it be injuries, personal, whatever your mental state, <clears throat> and where your motivation just wasn't there. Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah, um, biggest. biggest injury for me is I was dealing with like a bulging disc a couple of years ago, and like I couldn't even like squat the bar yeah. for like a month. And I couldn't deadlift for, well, I started deadlifting too soon, of course. Um, so I couldn't really seriously deadlift for like five months. So that was really, really tough. Um, it would probably be even harder for me to handle now with the level that I'm at. Because that was like a just starting out yeah, yeah. injury a couple of years ago. Um, but I was, I had a really good coach at the time and I was surrounded by a really good group of people that kind of made all the difference for me. Um, they kind of kept my head in the game where it needed to be. Without that, it would have been 
really hard. It's a little really bit of a hard. powerlifting game. If, if you do this yeah. long enough and at a competitive level, something's probably going to give out at some point. Uh, and then how you kind of deal with that or maybe come back is, is a whole other mm -hmm. thing. I've had I've had multiple disc issues over the years. Uh, as you guys know, I'm just chilling now. F physically, that's definitely it. But like, uh, life stuff gets in the way a lot more for me. That, that'll determine my training and like, I, I wish I had answers for you, little buddy. I don't have answers. Yeah, I just go to the gym, you know? I just go to the gym. And sometimes even if it's a half an hour workout, um, that's kind of like in my least motivated state or in like the worst mental state I'm in, I still at least get like half an hour in the gym. I always just try to do something. Uh, and that's I just- I have to like make sure I'm having fun. Yeah. If I'm not yeah, having helps. fun or if I didn't have any fun that workout, like there's a problem. Yeah. Like when I was training for the Arnold, like earlier this year, I was just putting so much stress on myself and I was like, I'm not having fun in these workouts. Yeah. And then I just made it a goal for myself, like make sure you have fun every fucking day that you're in the gym. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard because you, like you said, you get into a level, you, maybe you fall in love with it early and then maybe you have some setbacks or whatever it might be. Uh, maybe you start to get more competitive either with yourself or the game. Um, but the game is very tedious. Uh, it's hard on the body. It's hard on the mind. You're doing three movements over and over uh, for a lot of years sets and, and a lot years of reps. And years. Yeah, so uh, Hopefully I kind of like, yeah, I kind of like the grind of it, but um, <clears> I agree. And I'm in a phase like that. I'm doing some dumbbell work, whatever it might be. You got, you got to have some, got to have some fun. Where, where do you shop for business casual Oxford shirts for chesty ladies but i think that's from a, oh chesty lads chesty lads i don't know chesty dude ladies. i don't know this is about his really business cash. Confused with someone else. but then yeah but then it was a guy saying it that's why i was confused oh okay yeah 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 so, but it says so, lads so where do you where do you get your shirts i right? don't dude i i uh you're pretty casual you don't do a lot of business casual you're like yeah gym I've casual just, yeah and even that this is about as fancy as we get unless it's like a wedding or something um, I think it's cool that in what I do and in the world we we can dress kind of how we want and that's why I chose this path and I'm not the guy that could sit at a desk in a suit every day mm -hmm. like it's just not who I am as a person so um, I'll, I'll go you know big business deals just dress like this and not even worry about it how do you regulate explosive cardio in an athlete strength building program without compromising his or her ability to recover you want to dive in, Bontra? Well, you start that one. I can see it. So I think um, it depends. One, I don't know what you mean by explosive cardio. We need to dive in. If you're talking just like higher intensities where you're putting <clears> a little <throat> bit more power output, I think next we have to dive in and see what the goal of that athlete is. If your goal is you know, pure powerlifting, the sad truth is the overall GPP you need, general physical preparedness to be a powerlifter, is insanely low. If you compare it to other sports like soccer, uh, you did obviously track, which is kind of a sport, a GPP in its own, we'll move away from there. But soccer, where you're kind of jogging, sprinting, cutting things of this nature your obviously gpp has to be very high your conditioning has to be good and your uh power so if you're if you're just power lifting you know the truth is if you can get through the volume in your training uh and you don't explode you'll probably be okay yeah with that question is it says without compromising his or her ability to recover i think you really just need to look at your levels of volume and intensity because i mean you can you can handle it you can work yeah, in yeah. there if you do it the right way you yeah 100 percent um, how did you get into weightlifting or lifting? It's not, look, let's just put this out there. Look, mm. people say like uh, Oli or Olympic, uh, whatever, like that's a, like CrossFit made that a turn. Weightlifting is clean and jerk in the snatch. We power lift. Are we, do we lift weights? We lift weights. But that's weightlifting, that's a sport. Powerlifting mm. is squad bench dead. So Different. technically we don't weightlift. I tried, I was bad at it. How'd you get into powerlifting? Uh, from CrossFit, actually. Uh, so my athletic background, I ran track in high school and college. Um, after that, I kind of hung out in the bodybuilding world for a little bit. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah. Uh, I never competed or anything, but I was training that way. And like, those are the type of people I was hanging out with. Yeah. Um, then I did CrossFit for like <clears throat> a year, maybe two. And, um, I was trained with a girl who said she was going to do a powerlifting meet and I signed up for it just for fun. Won my weight class and everything. And I was like, oh, this is, in this it. is good. Like, yeah. I'm a lot better at this than I was at anything else. And like with CrossFit, like anything that required any like rhythm or gymnastic skills, I was very horrible at. Uh, very so horrible. It was competing in powerlifting, not training in powerlifting that got you addicted. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Mine's very different. Competed once and I was like, fuck yeah, I um, love this. Let's yeah. do that. Because whenever I was CrossFit, I was like, well, can't we just like deadlift heavy? Yeah. And then yeah. I always wanted to bench, but benching was not a part of it, right? And I was like, oh, there's a sport that I can do this. Fantastic. Yeah, I give a lot of credit to CrossFit for bringing new people into weightlifting mm -hmm. and powerlifting. Yeah, 100%. Um, but powerlifting as a sport never, like, drove me. Really? By any means. No, I, I just lifted. I just love to compete. Yeah, see, I, I, <clears throat> I feel like. I love the training. I love the grind. I love all that. But I'm just I'm yeah, so I like competitive that. in nature. Yeah, I'm competitive mm -hmm. in nature, but I just turn it other ways once I stop playing basketball. Yeah, yeah that's enough.
Ladies and gentlemen, before, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, be sure to check out the homegirl, Bontro, link in the bio. Put out tons of lifting. Uh, going to be competing soon. We don't know when, but she's gonna smash her big total. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Solomon Mike out of here. New videos Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, because we got some new food shit on the way. I appreciate you, I'm out of here.